Hello and welcome to my video tutorial on how to use Google Mail or Gmail to manage all of your domain emails in one place. So instead of having to log into your cPanel for your hosting to check your domain emails, manage them all through Google because it means you can log on wherever and whenever. You don't need to have your specific laptop or anything like that. I mean, if, if you manage all your emails through Outlook or Thunderbird and it works, absolutely brilliant, then you don't need this at all. But for me, I don't have that sort of facility and I need to be able to use different computers, I need to be able to check it on my phone, anything like that. So for me, this works brilliantly. That's why I thought I'd share it. Why would I want to do that? For credibility and convenience. I mean, what's not to love? Two of my favourite things. So let me ask you this. If you're a business person and you want to go and you know, do some business with someone, what do you think this looks better? Some sort of email from a free provider like you know, random at hotmail.com or at yahoo.com or you know, any of these things. Or to actually have your domain email, so in my case, nikki at nikkistevens.com. Which, you know, which one looks more professional? The domain email, of course! Ta da! <laughs> Love answering my own questions. In my case, I'm hosted with HostGator, and this is our control panel. So we need to go down to email, go down to email accounts, and set up a new email. So in my case, we're going to do an extension on nickystevens.com. I have various different domains, as you no doubt saw just then, um, associated with this hosting. So what email do you want? I mean, obviously, I've already got nikki at nickystevens.com. I've also got info at nickystevens, contact. I've got all sorts. It's terrible. But for the purposes of this, should we have? Let's have Minxie, as it's my nickname. We'll have Minxie at NickyStevens.com. So, pop in a password, and obviously repeat it, you know, just your usual form filling out things here. And you'll probably want to create yourself an unlimited account, rather than giving yourself a mailbox quota. Hooray! Account created. There you go. So I now have a new email, and you'll see that that's in the list down here. Now, the normal way, if you were going to go through your cPanel to check your emails, you have to click on More, Access Webmail, it takes you through to a new screen, pulls all this stuff up, and it's just long-winded and I don't have time. So, this is why I've done all of this, because it saves me a lot of time and that is how I like to roll. So the next thing, we've set up our email, now we need to forward it. Because it's at the moment it's going to go into the cPanel inbox and you, know, you have to sign in to find it. Blah, blah, blah. As you can tell, <laughs> I've already set up several forwards for different, you know, various different email accounts. So we're just going to do the same again. So add forwarder down here at the bottom. Address to forward. We've just set this up. Minxy. Forward to email address. And I'll pop in my Google Mail there. So add forwarder. Ta da All emails sent to minxy at nickystevens.com will now be copied to my Google Mail. This is what we want, because then at least it makes it all nice and easy for us. So let's pop on over to Google Mail and see what excitement is going on over there. Um, so, we need to go to Settings. So it's up here, Options, Mail Settings. And then go to Accounts and Import up here. And then, you can see I have got various different ones set up for my Send Mail As. So the one that most of you will know and the one I referenced earlier. So I can send mail as nikki at nickystevens.com and that just makes my life so much easier. So we want to click on send mail from another address because obviously we need to set up our new one. So it brings up this little pop-up box here, let's just move this into the middle so you can see it. So the name on it, do you want it to say to come from Nikki Stevens or maybe you want it to come from you know Nikki's blog or maybe you want it to come from Minxy Nikki, because obviously I've just given it that name. In this case, I will just keep it as Nikki Steve. So the email address is minxy at nickystevens.com. Next step. Now, this is uh, the bit here that we need to actually concentrate on slightly. We don't want to send it through Google Mail because it'll come up saying, you know, nikki at nickystevens.com, sent on behalf of Nikki, you know, and put in my Google Mail. And the whole point of doing this is we don't want any reference to Google Mail at all. We just want to keep it completely clean so that it's just our domain. So we want the second option, send through nickystevens.com. Now this is a bit that I got stuck on the other day and I'd forgotten how to do this. You need to change this top bit so it doesn't say SMTP but instead it says mail. And then your domain name. So obviously you don't need Nicky Stevens but I do. 
leave the port alone. So they don't need a username and password. Now these are the usernames and passwords that you use to get into your hosting. So in my case, it's a username and password that I needed to get into HostGator. So I'll just pop that in and add account. You can see it's just checking credentials for a moment. Ta da Congratulations! So they've now sent me an email with a confirmation code. And this is why we set up the forward before we came over here. Because now, if I just get back to the top of Google Mail, we will see that it's automatically forwarded. I've got an email from the Google Mail team to send mail as minxy at nickystevens.com. So of course in that we've got the confirmation code to just click. So if I now pop back to my Google Mail, let me just show you how this works because so, it makes it so much easier to actually explain it that way. If you go to compose mail, from here it's got the from box. I now have a nice list of different emails that I can use. It hasn't yet updated, but it will in a moment. It always takes a couple of minutes for it to actually show in this. So, I mean, this is my normal one, my nikki at nickystevens.com. So I do that as a little test, because it should automatically forward. But for now, it'll land in my inbox, but we're going to move that in a moment. But we'll just see what's happening for now. So there we go, immediately come through. So if I just show the details on this, so you can see that it's come from my Nikki at Nikki Stevens email and it's gone to the minxy at nickystevens.com. I'll just double check whether it's now showing in my compose. Yes it is. There it is there. So I can now send a mail to someone from Nikki Stevens becoming minxy at nickystevens.com. So now the next thing, if you look down here on this side, you'll see I've got different mailboxes here set up because I don't want everything just going into my inbox. And I like to be able to keep these things categorised so that I know sort of what the query is going to be about and therefore I can respond in the most appropriate fashion. So I've got this mailbox here for my Nikki at NikkiStevens.com and all these other different ones set up. So that's the next bit we're just going to go through. If you're not interested in that and you just want to have it coming straight to your inbox, then you are done. You may go and get yourself a cup of tea and give yourself a pat on the back. For those of you that do just want to set up a quick filter, literally it's only a couple of minutes. And then you also can run off and have a cup of tea. Hooray! So if we go back to mail settings and we go to filters, you can see I've done this a quite a bit. So like, as an example, my Nikki Stevens one up here, the filter I've got on it is if it is sent to Nikki at NikkiStevens.com, it skips the inbox and I apply the label of, that's the label I've given it because then it just makes it easy for me. So then it will appear there, which I'll just show you in a second. But first, we'll just create this new filter. So it's anything anything sent to, and then put in your new address that you've just set up. So in my case, that. Next step. Skip the inbox, because I don't want it being in there, and apply the label. And I'm going to have to give it a new label because I haven't got one for this one yet. So I'm just going to call it Minxy at Nikki because that makes sense to me. You call it whatever you want. You can nest your label and you, you might have categories for you know, mailboxes. And then under that you'd have all your different mailboxes. I don't because I don't. So there we go. So skip the inbox, apply the label, give it a label that makes sense to you. So there uh, the label's created. And it's actually... Google has already found two emails that have been sent to Minxy at, and so it wants to apply the filter to those conversations. So I will say yes, please. Create the filter, and it's all done. So I'll just show you how this would work. If I send an email from my Nikki at, but send it to Minxy as a very quick test, test two, you'll see down here. It's already gone into bold. It's got a little one next to it to show that it's one new email. And there it is, all in there. And so we're done. So that therefore concludes the tutorial. And I hope that you found that useful. But I'd really like it if you just pop over to my blog. Here's the link below for you to click on. And if you just go over there and just leave me a comment and let me know whether you found this useful or not. Thanks very much for watching and I will speak to you soon.